Hi and welcome to Alive and Cooking. I'm about to jump on a Seahawk and head down to HMAS Albatross 725 Squadron to help them with a bit of a cookout. Yep, I'm flying in the helicopter. I'm here with Commander Matt Royals. He's basically the boss of this whole operation. Going to tell me a little bit about it. Thank you very much for having me, sir. Uh, thanks for coming, James. It's a pleasure to have you here. It's amazing. What can you tell me about it? I mean, I'm, oh. I'm like this. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I've seen your face. It's been smiling the whole time you're here. Yeah. Um, 725 Squadron, we're the training squadron for this new beast, the Romeo helicopter, which mm. is an uh, amazing helicopter. Its primary role is uh, anti-submarine warfare and anti-surface warfare. So, so we're here to protect Australia as best we can. Um, from any invaders that might think that they can come in and particularly the submarine threat is, uh, is the big one that we work on. We, we work as required to, to either train for yep. or be at, um, at war. I mean, that's what this machine is all about, like Absolutely. you said. Absolutely. Yeah, and it, it packs some punch, you know, we carry missiles, we carry torpedoes, um, and, and it, it, it's there to scare the adversary away if we need to. I was stood on the tarmac at a local civilian little airfield and this thing came in and was facing off and I was scared just looking <laughs> at it. So I shudder to think what it would be like to hear this thing coming over. Mate, it's been an absolute pleasure meeting yourself and your crew, giving them a few little tasty morsels and I will definitely sleep safer and well, knowing that you guys are out doing this. Well, that's, that's a pleasure to hear that, and it's all about healthier eating, and thanks for coming and showing us a, an easy way to eat healthy. My pleasure, mate. Great, thanks. I'm alive and cooking. I'm alive and cooking. This is it, James. This is the uh, Romeo Seahawk simulator. So we've just had a flight in the real machine. You get to go for a flight in the front seat. If you'd be honoured to be my guest and go for a flight. Thank you very much. All right, James, uh, welcome to the Seahawk simulator, mate, and you're going you're gonna to have a go. Are you ready? So here we are. We're about 300 foot above ground here. So I'll, I'll get you to just hands on controls there. James, hand over controls to you. And just have a little bit of a play around. You can, um, you can treat a little bit more force if you like. Throw it around a little bit. This is <laughs> my brain instead of my body. Don't crash! <laughs> <laughs> well, great job, James. That was a good flying, mate. Thank you very um, much. You've shown me a thing or two. I think uh, the bird is going to be fired up. I'm going to show you mine, obviously. 
Sounds great, John. Look forward to it. All right, Dicko, there is your weapon of choice for today. Thank you. What we're going to start off with, because this little muscle dish, yeah, be careful, that one is shut. Just by cleaning our muscles up. So all you need to do is grab that little beard yep. and just pull it out. If sure. that comes out, that's all good. Quick inspect, make sure there's no other extra bits of shell or whatever, and away we go. So Sounds if you good. can assist me in that, that sure. will be sensational. Sure. I think I'm still shaking a little bit. I kind of had a little bit of vertigo coming out of that simulator, which is weird because we weren't really moving that much, were we? We no, didn't get it's... very high. It's only like three metres off the ground. Yeah, it's, it's amazing how the, um, the sort of feedback you get from, you know, the eyes can very sort of play so. some tricks on you there and it feels very like actually in motion. So. Although we had motion off, it still yes. definitely felt like we're in motion. Oh, definitely. Um, now, we, we're here today to talk a little bit about Fit to Fight, which is which is a Defence Force initiative just encouraging the boys and girls to eat properly, basically, isn't it? That's yeah, a... uh, that, that's um, kind of my take on it, is that yeah. we look, at, um, look after what we eat, yep. um, what you eat is what you are kind of thing, and if yep. you look after your diet and good exercise and sleep well, it's part of that. Sleep. Fit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when you can get it. Right, next up, mate, I'm going to get you... Sure. ..just to start slicing some spring onions. Now, I would attack these with a big sharp knife and just go at it crazily. If you yep. want to go one at a time, there's your okay. knife. What we'll need is kind of just about yay. OK. Nice and easy, nothing too... ..too difficult. Beautiful. If you get right. uncut... Yep, yeah, that, that's spot on. I'm going to just uh, roughly chop up some garlic. So this is... This little dish, this really embraces the ethos that I was given that, that um, Fit to Fight is all about, which is just fast, nutritious and easy. I'm going to start on these tomatoes, because all of this stuff... This is one of those dishes that we're cooking it on the barbecue, because the facility down here, this is amazing, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's, what only, a great it's, only, just been well, it's only just been opened up in the last uh, few weeks. Yeah, um, yeah. Bit of a modification with the awnings and stuff mm -hmm, that was mm -hmm. recently finished, but, yeah, I mean, they're connected up to full-time gas supply. Yep. So these facilities are um, a, a common place throughout the squadron. If you can grab the plate of mussels, sure. I'm going to grab this chopping board. Now, first thing that we're going to go in with is a good glug of extra virgin olive oil. Now, a lot of people are still a little bit afraid of fats because the diet industry has really given fat a bad name over the last couple of years. Okay. And all of this talk about fat-free, people just shy away from oils. Olive oil is a completely unsaturated fat, so it's really, really, in fact, good for you. Yeah, okay. So don't be shy to slap it around whenever you're using it. It's, yeah, OK. I'll drink the stuff when you get the yeah, okay. one. So, and that's all types um, of virgin, extra absolutely. virgin. Absolutely. Okay. As long as it's Australian. Okay. What we're going to do is slide these on first, give them a chance just to toss them around a little bit. Yep. We're going to take a touch of that heat out by doing this. Um, when I say don't buy, you know, Italian or Greek or, or Spanish olive oil, the main reason for that, aside from being fiercely proud of Australian produce, yep. is that stuff has been pressed overseas, put in a container and transported here. It's going to be ancient yeah, Australian yeah. stuff. If it's first press, cold press, if it's this year, it's only going to be a month old, two yeah. months old, three months old. You know, it's, it's purely a, a, a produce um, quality. Yeah, OK. Right, right, we're ready to yeah. slide the muscles on that. Sensational. And just move them around. We've got heat on both sides. Oh, both sides, so it's yeah. transfer is applied. Yeah. OK, lovely. Perfect teamwork. We're just about done here. OK. What we're going to do, if you can close the lid down... The other thing about cooking pasta is people don't put enough salt in the water, so that's just about enough salt for this water here. So OK. Most people would put, like, a pinch in. If you can slide all of those in at once for me, please. OK, right. that'd be sensational. Yep, beautiful. Then grab the tongs and just kind of do that through the pasta. We're not going to break it up completely. That is sensational. You're a professional, mate. We'll slide the lid back on. Oh. 
Okay. What we're going to do is just hit this with a bit of pepper. Oh, yeah. Just around and about. And in fact, when it comes to tossing this together, what we're going to do is put the pasta into this. So all we're going to do, actually, I'll bring the pot and I'm going to get you to hoof oh, yeah. the pasta over. Straight in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Strain off sort of 70% of the water. Yep, ch chuck it in now. Beautiful. And now, uh, if you just want to kind of move it around with the tongs, yeah. Get it down in that juicy section. I'll start bringing in some mussels. We might just pop it down now. Those last few, we'll stick them over here, mate. Yep, sure. And I'm just going to shave some pans and straight over the top. But what do you reckon to that, mate? That's a very, very quick dish. Delicious. You reckon you could whip that one up on your own now? So. I'd certainly give it a crack, yeah. And um, just to finish it off, as with any good pasta dish, a like little that. drizz of the old extra verge all over. Gives it a shine, gives it a sheen. Beautiful. It just makes it good. There we go. It's fantastic. Fit to fight. Fast food. Fantastic for the flyers. Thanks, James. My Man. pleasure. Cheers, Dicko. Look forward to tasting. OK, crew, I've got two kilos of mussels, about 500 grams of pasta, six forks. I want to see you fight amongst yourself. <laughs> Dive in, have a crack. This is what fit to fight food is all about. It's quick, it's easy, it's delicious, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. What is your involvement here with the Navy? Um, I'm a trade supervisor yep. at the squadron, so I maintain the Romeo helicopters, just most of the, uh, the electrical side yep. of things. Yep. Yeah. So, so you're just, a sparking? Yeah, pretty yes. much, on helicopters. And how involved in this Fit to Fight campaign have you been? So mm -hmm. last year I was at sea, yep. but uh, the last few months I've just moved into my own house. I've been cooking a lot more at home Beautiful. and uh, just getting into a good routine of sleeping, getting eight hours, trying yeah. to get eight hours in, <laughs> depending on the shift work. Yes. So And yeah, a lot of exercise. We've got a 12-week body transformation challenge at the gym okay. at the moment yep. as well. Yep. So getting involved in that as well. That's being run by, by the Navy itself? Yeah, by the Navy yep. up at the cool. gym. So cool. there's about 150 people yeah. involved in that. Wow. We're into the third week. How do you feel? Three weeks in, because that's what it's about, isn't it? It's what does it what's yeah, it done to you? Trying to cut out sugar is probably one of the hardest yes. challenges. Yes. But um, um, what yeah. we're going to do here, while while we keep going anyway, is yeah. I want you to start slicing this fennel up. Chunky is okay. You don't need to worry about getting yeah. it too small. And I'm going to do the messy job of peeling this smoked trout because I chose this dish after the pasta because smoked fish yeah. is one of those things that's really really good for you. You can actually see. Yeah. The omega threes. Yeah. That, that, yeah, that is literally. Oils. You can see it doing yeah. good for you. The bones are edible if you want to. I, I tend to take them out just because I find them a little bit crunchy. Yeah. Um, but as a fish to deal with, this is really really easy. And this is one of those fishes that yeah. you can have in the fridge and it will keep almost forever. Okay. So you've always got a go-to dish out of fish like this. Yeah. I've got two different sorts. This one is a fillet. This one's from the Snowy Mountains, and you can actually see the flesh has got a slight difference to it. It's not quite as oily. Yeah. That's because it's been peeled already. So, uh, but well, grab a piece of that. that before. Just, just break a little piece off, mm. <laughs> and you'll see it's it's quite a mellow, subtle flavour. Mm. It's beautiful. I it's love not this too stuff. Strong. Mm. Mm. Can you start sort of slicing that? This way? Yes, I've never please. Cut this before, so. That's all right. A bit of chunk doesn't matter. It's fennel's one of those things. It's it's quite divisive in some ways that some people say you must slice it wafer thin 
and other people say, nah, chunky is yeah. the way to go. <laughs> so um, I'm happy with it either way, to be honest. So that is our plucked smoked trout. I just need to grab a cloth. Excuse me a second. Um, you've done marvellous work oh, with thank that you. one. Still going. This is the bread that I feed to my six-year-old. Yeah. And because oh. I've, I've studied on this, and you know, he's got to take a packed lunch to school, and it's got to be as healthy as possible. Yeah. He will not <laughs> eat wholemeal bread. He's <laughs> just very, 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 very fussy. What I want you to do here is stick your thumb over the bottle yeah. and just drizz like that. Yeah. A few little drips. Whoa, my hands are a bit slimy. And then yeah. just do that. And then take a pinch of salt, a tiny, tiny pinch, and just give it that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slide it onto the barbecue and toast it up. So if you can sort of do that with all of those for me, mate, I'm going to start... Start getting these pickled onions going because this is a really, really Let's fast see pickle. See how this goes. You've got oh, bigger thumbs than I do. <laughs> <laughs> now you're good. You're good. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I think most people at work, they everybody has the right intentions of yes. eating well, but I think some people uh, sort of succumb to the convenience of. Uh, the vending machine on we late all, shift if you haven't packed enough healthy snacks. So. We all do at some stage. I don't, yeah. I, don't, I don't think it should be as bedeviled as it is, the, yeah. the fact that every now and then convenience Moderation. does... <laughs> exactly, exactly. This is just a white vinegar. You can use... Actually, this is a, a white balsamic vinegar. Mm. <laughs> um, so when you're talking about pickling... Ooh, well, no, no, much. that's all right. It's, um, any vinegar is good, and a good pinch of salt with onions, what you do now is just macerate this through. You mash it, you break down the fibre of the onions a little bit, and they're going to soak up that vinegar. We might slide this bread over onto, onto, the, barbecue. onto the barbecue. So we'll put the oil side down in, just right on this middle one. And just a light press, beautiful. Just to make sure it sort of contacts right the way through. What we're making here is croutons which Delicious. are just about yeah. one of my favourite salad I've ingredients. I've never done them on the barbecue. I've only uh, ever done them I. It's in the... <laughs> <laughs> we'll give it a touch more oil. I'll oh, spread that around yeah. a little. is sprinkle me one layer of rocket, and this is the beautiful wild rocket, and then one sort of little layer of your fennel. Then I'm going to start breaking up some cheese. So just some feta. Delicious. I do love a bit of feta. And oh, me too. Danish feta and avocado on toast. Oh, you, you, you too. You're speaking the right language, right? Get some feta fennel lovely. in there as well if you can, yeah. please. I love the Greek style feta just because it crumbles like this. Yeah, it's like easier this. than the, um, the creamy one. I do like the creamy one, yeah. but it's, it can be sort of quite hard to use. Sprinkle a few of the uh, bean sprouts around. This is just to give it a crunch. I'm going to check the toast again. The, the croutons, sorry. Croutons, again. the crunchies. See, that one's oh. perfect. Yeah. So you've got the lingo down pat already. <laughs> cool. That one my boy wouldn't eat, but I love I it when it's in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Spot on. He's ready. So with these, yeah. what I'm going to get you to do is chop them in shards. So just like that. Ah, OK. Right the way yeah. through. I'm going to swap sides for a second. Yep. So I'm going to get some of these. Just... Helpful. Yeah, I wanted to get out of the way so you feel more comfortable. And now we're just building a salad, so we'll just sprinkle in. Layering it on. Yeah, so what, exactly. The other pieces? Uh, if you want to grab them as we go. So this is one of those salads that the rocket you can buy. In fact, I saw some growing at the side. Oh, really? On one yeah. of the little lawns it's right really there, quick. there was some wild yeah. rocket growing. That's one Should of those. Should have picked some of that. Yeah, look, yeah. it's. It's, it's one of those things that, as, as a program like Fit to Fight starts to build, yeah. there will be people... You'll look for it now. I know yeah, you are going to no, go I'm out there and you're going to go, there's some parsley growing over there and some... Yeah. So what I'll get you to do now, Claire, is grab 
another kind of quarter of that feta yeah. and just start crumbling that over for me as well. Happy please, with that. I've literally just oh, poured yes. some forgot. oil into the vinegar. See how, because we've got the onion in there, it's emulsifying immediately and that's turned it straight away mm. into a dressing. A touch of salt to this dressing and a little twist of our pepper. And that's it. That dressing is one that go on anything, but it particularly loves fish. And we're just going to sprinkle it on there. I reckon you can probably sprinkle a little bit more feta on there if you Ooh, fancy it. Of course. But Claire, it's been <laughs> an absolute pleasure getting down here to Albatross and seeing you guys and what you do, which is amazing. Yeah. I mean, aside from the fact that you're protecting and preserving Australia and our way of life, I'm glad to have been able to just to show you a little something, something like this. Warm Delicious. salad with the crunchies and the caviar and the bean sprouts and the feta. And the feta. And the fork. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm going to have to try some before these guys get into it. Yeah, because once <laughs> I get it, it's going to be gone. Mm. I do hope you've enjoyed today's show, brought to you from HMAS Albatross 725 Squadron. I have had an amazing day. I hope you have a lovely day, and I'll see you next time.